Three-week-old infant Mark sleeps peacefully, unaware of the stress his parents are under. His mother, Latasha, has been out of work as a pharmacy technician. She will lose her extended unemployment benefits at the beginning of next month. We've worked for years, so it's not like we're being lazy, but... I mean, what more can you say but continue to try to look for a job? Her husband, Mark Sr., just landed a part-time job. He was recently laid off from his job at a steel plant. Well, we had a pretty good living, but the bottom fell out because of the economy. And so, you know, we're hardworking people. We just need the money right now because we're in a transition. John Lauder's children are older, but he is just as concerned. His benefits run out this month. He was let go from his job as an exhibit tech at the Chrysler Museum. It has been two years of trying to land a job, any job. It's an emotional roller coaster because um, when I've had a couple of, I've had a couple of callbacks and I've gone on interviews, and boy, my heart just soars then. And then uh, you get a Dear John letter and uh, or a call or an email or something. And then it's right back down again. As a lifelong taxpayer, he understands the cost concerns about extending the benefits. But he says the needs are real. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult around here. And I'm, I'm really looking for just about, I'm looking for anything right now. Both of the families that we spoke with today want to make it very clear that they would rather work but they do believe they need these benefits right now to help them get through what is a difficult economy. In Southfield, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7, Action News.